Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, trying to make sense of this crazy Arizona market. And today, I just kind of want to pose a scenario that says, are we on the way to 20,000 listings? And why does 20,000 even mean anything in our market? Well, historically, 24,000 has been considered normal. Now, it's hard to use the word normal anymore because our population has grown exponentially since 24,000 was considered normal. So maybe normal should be a much higher number. So there's a couple things I want to go over I'll come, before I uh, go into my rationale here for why I even pose that question. Let me just tee up a couple things. Today's a Tuesday. We have 12,889 active listings on the market this morning on a Tuesday. Normally, every Tuesday, our listings drop by about 300 to 500. Why is that? Well, because Contracts are written on Saturday and Sunday. Agents get in and update the MLS on Monday and Monday night. So Tuesday morning, those homes that went under contract are no longer active. So therefore, the count drops by about three to 500, except today. It only went down 100. Now, normally, also on Fridays, we see an uptick of listings of about 500 getting geared up ready for the weekend. People list their homes. That hasn't been happening. It was pretty consistent for a long time. Now it maybe goes up 50. However, last week they did go up about 200. But the dip in today's is not a trend, but it's like, what? What's sticking out here? So I'm looking at the numbers. And if I go to my seven-day moving average here, and I take a look here, you can see that new listings have gone up just a little bit. But sales continue to go down. Now, the lowest we've ever gone down in sales is 2,700 over a seven-day moving average, according to the Cromford market. I track it a little bit differently here. We're down to about 2,400 um, this week. But you can see that the gap here is growing. And we're now sitting at 69%. In other words, 69% new contracts versus new listings. Last time we got down to 65%, we started seeing downward pricing pressure. And could we be headed that way? It's possible. But let's talk now about where we are in total listings in our marketplace, according to the Cromford Market Report. And here we are. This is compiled weekly. Now, it's been going up just a little bit here. Here, go back to week 32. We had 10,248, 10,415. So we went up about 200 homes. Not because we're getting more new listings, but because we have fewer and fewer sales every week as long as interest rates are up and today the average rate 7.49 it went up yet again this morning but now the increase went from 10,591 10,992 about 400 a week this is last week 11,557 it hasn't been updated yet so it's probably going to be about 11.9 maybe 12. if you look at last year see how this spiked up there's a big difference between this year and last year in one missing component that we don't have in our market right now. And that is this spiked up because of iBuyers and investors trying to quickly unload their products when interest rates spiked up. We no longer have that pool of inventory out there. Last year at this time, Open Door had 1,800 listings. Today, 79. So if they decide they're going to sell them all, it won't even show up on the sheet. So if they can put their listings on. So we're seeing that we're getting a slow march up of about 200 to 400 homes a week. In 20 weeks, that puts you at 20,000 homes, providing interest rates stay where they are and sales stay as low as they are. People are not listing more now than they were last month. Like I said earlier, we're just not selling them as quickly. So now January, we always see more listings. So if we start creeping up between now and the end of December, and we end up at 16,000 units just slowly at the pace we're going now, I would expect 20,000 by February 1st. Only if sales don't pick up. Now, if we look at active listing counts now on this chart, this is a daily view. You can see that they're, they're going up. Here's where we were on 10... October 22, 19,678. Prices started dropping 
quite a bit then, but it was a real shock to the system. And uh, so I don't see this happening quickly or prices coming down fast. I just see this kind of like water dripping. On your forehead, days of inventory is starting to creep up from 59, 61, 63, 64. In other words, how long would it take to get rid of the current supply of homes we have now? It's going up slowly again because they're not selling that fast. But here's the really the one you want to watch here if you're waiting for price prices to come down. The it, demand index is going down and the Cromford supply index is just starting to turn, but there's still a gap here. Prices don't come down when there's a gap like that, when you have demand larger than supply. We're getting closer. Like I say, right now it's about 69%, but it's not happening yet. And you can see here in 2021 when that demand was way up here and supply was way down there, the prices were going crazy. But there was this little tiny period that I just showed you back in 2022 right here. It's very small. Let me zoom in on this for a moment for you. And uh, if you're a graph guy, you like this stuff because that's all real estate is, folks. It's supply and demand. And you can see here as I move things around, that supply outstripped demand and prices came down about 15%. So this is the number to watch here, folks. This one right here. Watch that and see if these are getting ready to cross. Now, I'll tell you that if we hit 20,000 homes on the market and we're only moving 2,400 on a seven-day period, prices will come down. I'd like to see it go even higher than that. I'm not cheering for a huge price crash, but we need homes. We need inventory. And if we can get there slowly, methodically, like we're seeing now, this is not bad news. This is good news. It's not great news for sellers, but as we march slowly up there, if you're priced right, we've shown that homes are selling. So if you're priced right, your home is presentable, don't worry about it. You're going to move it. It's not the sky isn't falling. If you're a buyer and you're waiting for an opportunity, I don't see prices coming way, way down, but I do see some relief coming. And if we start getting about 20 to 24,000 homes on the market and miraculously we start seeing an improvement in rates, uh, buyers could really like what they're seeing out there in the market. So I just wanted to shout that out to everybody and show you what's, what's going on. Tell me what you think in the comments below. It looks to me like this is a possible scenario as we get into the first part of the year, barring anything that we don't see coming down the road. Now there's a possibility of an oil shock. There's talk of oil getting up to $150 a barrel. That's a game changer. But then again, I don't see how sales can get much lower than they are right now. We're already down to about 2,400 a week. So there's, there's not much of a floor left there. If you're already at the bottom, you can continue to squeeze it down, but it's as low as low can get. So I don't see that going down much more unless everybody just collectively gets together and says, well, we're no longer buying. And that's just Arizona. We're not seeing it nationally. As I talked to Dan Frio yesterday, we're seeing that there's parts of the country like Pennsylvania and, o and uh, Oklahoma doing quite, quite well um, because their homes are reasonably priced. We have an affordability issue here in Arizona. We're starting to feel it. So let's watch these numbers and see what happens. Let me know what you think. Take care.